Yo, 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 it's Jimmy G23 here, and welcome to another um, Premier League uh, starter squad that's really, relatively cheap. Um, um, the difference between this and the previous video is, one, the defensive back line is all medium defensive work rates, and then I'm not going to be going over center attacking mids. This time I'm going to be going over left mids and right mids, um, but with a similar concept of attacking work rates, skill moves, um, relatively cheap in prices. I believe this squad is going to be a little bit cheaper than the previous one I mentioned. This one could also be anywhere from at the least a minimum amount is probably about 20,000 coins, but at most to about 40,000 coins. Um, I am going to be providing a couple options for the left mid, probably another op and a right mid. Um, a couple, uh, probably another option do I provide? Yeah, I'll provide another option for the center back, but that's really it. Um, some of you guys might be thinking, well, what about the meta players? Because really, I'm, I'm skewing one side or the other side. I'm going to be coming out with another video about OP, really cheap meta players in the Premier League that I think would be, you know, right around for two center mids, you know, at most probably 5,000 coins. Um, but yeah, so like I said, that's why I make, I'm making these videos, you know, I, I would probably use this squad as well with a 4-4-2, play, play around with it, see how it feels. Um, maybe transition this, you know, switch it, you know, using the tactics to probably a 4-2-3-1 possibly, you know, and having either Arnautovic, probably Arnautovic or Perez as a center attacking mid. Um, there's a lot of options you could do with this squad. Um, it's up to you guys, but really, you know, what I want from you guys, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys don't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you guys don't like the video. Um, and also leave comments. So let's have a conversation about this. Let, let, let's see where this goes. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So Peter Cech, you know, he he had, a, I mean, hashtag feels bad, man. He had a, he had a really um, huge downgrade from an 86 to an 82. I was looking at previous 82s in the past, and uh, they're relatively cheap, you know, from FIFA 18. And so I, I think he's going to be relatively cheap as well. Um, I was I was saying anywhere from, you know, honestly, like anywhere from 1,500 coins all the way up to probably about 3,000, 4,000 coins. So there is a huge discrepancy depending on how popular he is. I don't think he's going to be that popular just looking at some of his stats. Um, but he is tall though. He's what, 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. And so he, he would be a relatively cheap option to start and he probably might be the most popular, cheapest options to start with. Uh, now looking at the back line, um, you have Lindelof and then Holgate. Um, the reason why I chose those is one, because they have a medium defensive work rate and a medium attacking work rate. Both of them have three-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, and I think they're going to be relatively cheap as well. About 1,000 coins at most, probably 2,000 coins. Um, also, they have pace over 70 or at 70 for Holgate's case. Um, their defense isn't bad, so 76, 70, uh, 76 defense for Holgate, 73 physicality. Their dribbling isn't bad as well. Um, so over 65 or at 65, and then Lindolf's passing is pretty pretty good as well. So like I said before, the whole back line is going to have a medium work rate. So then, then we look at Danilo, the right back. He might be expensive. He might not be. He is like the fourth or fifth or sixth option for right backs. Um, he is a little bit of a meta card as well. Um, high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. I'm thinking he could be anywhere from 2,000 to 3,000 coins, maybe a little bit lower, maybe a little bit higher. Not really sure how this is going to plan out because he is Brazilian. He plays for Man City. He is a little bit of a meta, um, but we'll see. And then Ryan uh, Bertrand on the left. He, he is a non-rare. Um, three-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. He has a high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate. I think he's going to be on the cheaper end for left backs, anywhere from 1,000 coins to probably about 2,000 coins. Um so that's what I think for the back line. I do have another center back down here that I'll, that I'll get to from on the bench. That I'll let you guys know about. That could be another relatively cheap option if you guys don't like these other players who also has a medium attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate. Um, but up next, let's go ahead and check out the um, the midfielders. Um, right now, I have Ndidi. I think Ndidi could be a really t – he reminds me uh, of Gay, Garusa Gay. Um, last season, he, he has very similar stats, just a lower rating. He has a medium de uh, attacking work rate, a high defensive work rate. He could be very expensive, but he could not be. I think uh, Guru Sagay is going to get majority of that attention, and then he's going to follow behind. So Guru Sagay, I think, could be at most you know, 15,000, 20,000 coins. I think indeed he could be anywhere from if he's really, really cheap and people aren't stressing about him because of all these different meta cards. I think he could be you know, right around two, 3,000 coins, but at most I think he could be right around six, 7,000 coins um, as well. 
he has three star skill moves, four star, four star weak foot. He is a um, and he's also he's a CDM. Um, then, then we have him and and Gusa. I, I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name. He's 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 from Fulham. Um, he has really great stats as well. 84 physicality, so his defense is a is a, a little bit lacking, but you're able to apply a shadow on him, uh, anchor on him if you want to boost his defense and a little bit more of the physicality. Three star skill moves, two star weak foot. I think he's going to be on the cheaper end, but what I really like about him is that he has 74 pace, dribbling is as at 70, um, and his physicality is 84, so he's strong. He's able to beat players off the ball, and he's a really great cheap substitute for a center defensive mid. Um, and, and, you know, if you guys saw the previous video, you guys are able, able to substitute center defensive mids. I mean, both of these, um, they're interchangeable. If you guys think Ndidi's um, too expensive, feel free to look at the previous video and use some of those center defensive mids. Um, now let's look at the left mids and the right mids. I have Shakiri on here. And the reason why I have Shakiri on here, I know he um, went to Liverpool, but he was in the Premier League last season. Not a whole lot changed. He still has... Or have or got an upgrade for a five star skill moves, four star weak foot. He could be a little bit more expensive with the five star skill moves. <clears throat> what I don't like about him is that he doesn't have a high attacking work rate. He has a medium attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate, which I think is going to keep him relatively cheap from anywhere from a thousand coin or two thousand coins to about three thousand coins. I don't think he's going to be a very and also he's short, so I don't think he's going to be a very um, attractive card. But maybe because he's on Liverpool, so we'll see. But I think he's a really great option to have early on in the game. Um, right, Carlison is going to have a lot of hype. I think there's a lot of other players in different leagues and in the same leagues that are going to have different hypes as well. So he, Rick Carlison has a high attacking work rate, high defensive work rate, four star skill moves, five star weak foot. Um, I think he's going to be anywhere from a thousand coins to at most two thousand coins. Um, I think right now the most expensive player I have on here is probably going to be Ndidi. Just because I'm looking at uh, Garusa's game, um, FIFA 18's, you know, the first initial two weeks of what he was. Um, next up, I have these strikers. So these strikers are a little bit more, or are a little bit slower from my previous video. And the reason why I chose that is because this is going to be more of a little bit of a possession play squad. If you're using the 4-4-2, it's not attacking, you know, pass, pass, pass. Um, both of them have about 77, 79 pace. Um, both of them have relatively high shooting, you know, Perez, 80 shooting, Arnautovic, 79 shooting. Both of them also have decent passing stats, you know, above 75, 76, 77. You guys are able to check out their in-game stats and let me know what you guys think about it. Um, Arnautovic is 81 physicality as well, so he's strong. I like them both. Both of them also have a four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. I think they could be anywhere from 2,000 coins, maybe cheaper, but at most 5,000 coins each. And I'm saying that as the most. Um, but I think this is going to be a really great card. I didn't include, like I said, any of the meta players other than my last video with uh, with Siri um, from Fallham. Uh, but let's go ahead and take out the bench. Um, you have I, have I have this guy here. Um, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Soy Unku. I don't know. Two-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He's a center back, another cheap option. He has 70 pace, 75 uh, defense, 76 um, physicality. I think it's going to be cheap anywhere from 1,000 coins to about 1,500 coins. And then we have this guy here, a um, recent transfer from La Liga over to the Premier League. Um, he has four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, left mid, non-rare, really cheap, 1,000 coins, 1,500 coins. He has 82 pace, nothing too short of Ray Carlison. He has similar dribbling, a little bit weaker on physicality, but he has a little bit better shooting and better passing. So he might be a second better option than Ray Carlison. And then lastly, we have this guy here. I don't know how to pronounce the names, I'm sorry, but looking at face stats and in-game stats too, I definitely took consideration on in-game stats. These guys look very, um, really good. 83 pace, um, a little bit better than Shakiri. Um, he does have a four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He has a high attacking work rate and a high defensive work rate. I think he is a rare, so he could be anywhere from 1,000 coins to probably 2,500 coins at the most. But overall, the squad should be no more than 40,000 coins You know, at the start. The cheapest is probably 20,000, 19,000 coins, which is what I'm hoping and uh, I'm expect expecting. But some players are going to fluctuate. Um, but that's it, y'all. This is this is a squad I get. I, like, I let you guys know. You guys are able to you know interchange if you guys like this back line, uh, but be prefer this back line on my previous video that I made. 
definitely do those switch those around let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys are um, most excited about what player you guys are think is a cheap card meta card um, I'm going to be coming out with uh, with cheap meta cards that I found in the Premier League you know for center mids and and let you guys know what, what that looks like why I think those prices are um, but these are the squads if you guys like the video give me a thumbs up my twitch is down below my Twitter is down below Instagram all that fun stuff um, that's it, y'all. Jimmy G23 is out. Peace.